Today I'm going to be looking at part two of the video series of the NES emulator FC EUX. And today I'm going to be looking at video configuration, uh, how to get high quality video play out of your emulator so it doesn't look so blocky. So I'm going to open up our emulator. And by default, when you first open it, it's going to be this big. <clears throat> which, uh, you know, nobody wants to play with it being this big. So, we're going to come over here to Config. We're going to go down to Video. And I'm only going to concentrate on this windowed settings here. This is probably all you need to worry about for now. Well, probably much all you need to worry about anyway, really. I, I wouldn't worry about with full screen settings or any of this stuff here or drawing area just leave all of this default uh, don't change especially this drawing area just leave all this by default so when you open it up this is what you're gonna see and when you go to uh, oops first thing I like to do is uncheck disable hardware acceleration I wanna uncheck that and I'm gonna uncheck force integral scaling factors but I'll I will probably check force aspect ratio correction to keep everything uh, nice and even so we're gonna close this out and I'm gonna go ahead and make this a little bit bigger and when you and by checking the aspect ratio it allows the uh, screen to move like this you know to keep everything proportionate so I'm going to go ahead and open up a ROM uh, I'm just going to choose I don't know Mega Man 1 I did Mega Man 5 I'll do Mega Man 1 this time and you can kind of see how it has this blockiness to it uh, let's see just go ahead and press start and go in you can really see yeah really blocky looking well we're gonna correct that so that it's nice and uh, not so blocky so I'm gonna go over to configure go back down to video settings and I'm gonna go right here special scalar it's by default it's on none I'm gonna go to HQ2X I'm gonna set it on that and hit close and you can see how much of a difference it made. Uh, it took out pretty much all the blockiness of the video of the video. Made it a lot nicer to look at, a lot more clear, all the blockiness is gone. Now you can also go back and choose HQ3 time. And it just makes it it's still high quality, but it makes it a little bit bigger. like that now also what you can do is go back in here well I, I, what I meant by actually let me see, I'm getting ahead of myself here the reason I say don't mess with any of these full screen settings is if you want full screen you can just double click in here like this or double click on the uh, the ball on top and it will automatically go to full screen and it's a lot nicer because all of your menu buttons are still here and it's a lot easier than doing it the other way this is this is the way I would recommend if you want full screen now with it being full screen it's still clear but it's, you know you can see it's gonna be a little bit blocky but it's still you know it's still really nice quality and then if you want to exit you can just simply double click again up here on the bar and uh, it'll go back so those are your configurations on that deal uh, you can also check this allow more than eight sprites uh, I believe this has to do with if you if you want to keep to the original eight the NES hardware or something like that I to be honest with you, I don't know how much of a difference it really really makes but uh, you can check that if you want and kind of test gameplay a little bit also, if you go into full screen, 
and you notice that it kind of lags a little bit. Gameplay is maybe a little laggy or not quite the way you'd like it. You can actually come here to sync method and it gives you two options for that. And this will, uh, you can try either one of these and these will probably correct or at least make it not as bad for lagging. You can set it that and you can try those, and but those will help. You can set it on none or whatever you want. Um, so that's that's basically it for for getting the the high quality uh, setting out of this. Uh, there's also something else that you can do, uh, and it's really I don't know really what purpose it actually serves, but you can come up here to let's see, uh, yeah, display, and gives you some other things here during gameplay. But if you notice these things here, it says graphics BG and graphics. OBJ and it has a check mark. If you uncheck this, it shows only part of the game. For instance, I'm going to recheck. Whoops. Well, that's what. Yeah, so you kind of. It, it cuts out parts of the game. Which really is. Doesn't have too much to do with gameplay, but. You could definitely make it a little harder if you want, and or or whatever. And, uh, and by the way, I've disabled sound, so I didn't have to deal with that. But let me give you kind of an example of of what this does in actual gameplay. I can't remember actually which one does what. That one will make your character disappear. Let's bring it back, and then. That pretty much makes everything disappear. So you can play basically in the dark. Again, not really nothing to do with the video, but it's just something that, you know, a little extra feature might be that you can check out. I'll put it to you that way. And then of course, it has some of these other things a lag counter. Uh, you know, a frame recorder. And again, uh, like I said in the first video, a lot of these tools you probably will never use. Uh, there's a lot of things in here that for hacking wrong, for hacking the games and reprogramming them. And, uh, well, just a lot of things like that. So I believe that's it for the video part of this. I think I've covered everything. Uh, next video, I will probably be looking at the Game Genie functions and how to configure Game Genie codes.